Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another great money talk this morning, guys, where today we're going to be talking about the awesome things. Happy Wednesday, guys. Wow. It is already Wednesday, right? As you know, this week we've been talking about financial concepts, right? Understanding financial concepts. That's the theme for this week. And this week is all about understanding financial concepts. But more importantly, what kind of concepts are we talking about this week? So if you've been with me so far since Monday, you know, we've already talked about, the, you know, things like the X curve, the rule of 72. And today I have the pleasure of talking to you guys about the dime method, right? And uh, I think what's really awesome about the dime method is understanding how important it is to, to, for you and your family to learn it. And, I, and I'm so happy and I feel very honored to be that person to educate you about that today. So let me bring it up on your screen right now and show you exactly what is the dime method. And as you can see right there, the dime method is pretty much a very simple, straightforward thing, right? And one of the things about the dime method is that it talks about um, the importance of knowing about um, how much insurance do you really need? right and i think that's important for us to know as consumers right because many of us as consumers we we get offer or people try to sell us things and they'll say you need this you need that and no one never educate you on how to determine that right we just always take the the, the professionals um advice right the professionals I, I, that's what I, that's what i call them you know the professionals the professional and the professional know best, right? The professionals know best all the time. How do they know so much about us? How do they know what's best for us? How do we know they know they know? We don't know. So that's why I, I, you know, I've been on this campaign trying to tell you guys that it doesn't matter the product. You know, products change. Products change, concepts remain the same. You understand? Products change, concepts remain the same. I hope you guys remember that. Products change, concepts remain the same. So as long as you know that concepts don't change, then you already know what you need to learn. So what is it that you need to learn? You need to understand concepts. You need to understand concepts, concepts, formulas, you need to learn those things. These are the things that will help to guide you to make a better decision, okay? These are the things that will guide you on making better decisions when it comes to building your financial foundation to, to, to put yourself in a, in a winning position. So the question is, do you wanna be a winner, right? Here's a question of the day. Do you wanna be a winner? Right. So as I go through all of this today, I would love for you to take the time to fill out. Right. You could you, you could go in the, in the chat room and literally ask questions. OK, you can go in the chat room and ask questions. Right. And at the end, what I'll gladly do is answer those questions at the very end. Right. So as I go through here, you have questions, please put them in the chat room so we know what's your questions and we can answer those questions as we go along with today's session. So first thing first, do you wanna be a winner, All right? What a question, do you wanna be a winner? And that's something that you really gotta start thinking more about. And then you gotta think about what, does win what, what, what do winners do? What do winners do? Do winners only focus on winning when, when, when it's game time or winners win on the off, off season too, All right? Right? Are you one of those winners? So if, if you're going to win in the financial game, then you got to learn something like this called the dime method because insurance plays a very vital role in one's financial foundation. Remember, protection, debt management, right? Emergency fund and investment. And like I said, if you understand concepts, you know where to put, if you understand taxes, you know where to put your own money. So the dime method. What is the dime method? Is it a penny? Is it something that is like a coin that's in your pocket? No. Dime, okay, 
dime is a method where it helps you to calculate the protection that is needed for you and your family. All right. It helps you to know how much you and your family need in protection. Now, when you look at life, when you look at life insurance, many of you may have got told that you need a million dollar policy, but you probably never know why. You probably never know not. You, you probably never got told why. You probably never understand why. And it's either someone from the from the P company <laughs> that will come and tell you that you need a million dollars in term and you're supposed to invest the difference. Or maybe some, you know, somebody you know, probably some agent that you know, and you just trust that you know what he's doing. And he say, hey, you need a million dollar policy. And, you know, and they'll probably give you some whole life or whatever, right? But the problem still remain that, now don't get me wrong, having a million dollar life insurance policy is a great thing, right? That's a great thing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not a good thing. It's a good thing to have a million dollars. But the thing is that, do you know why? Do you know how to come up with that number? What is it that is calculated to, to get that million dollars, right? Or better yet, did you have a choice? Right? Even better words. Did you have a choice in that decision making or you just trusted blindly and say, hey, a million dollars is what I need. You're right. No. It's time you know and calculate for yourself. Okay? It's time you really know what's your number and calculate for yourself because the more you continue to go down this road of letting people keep telling you what you need, People always have the have a saying. They tell you what you need, but they never can tell you, they never explain to you why. They just tell you. Have anybody ever feel like that where everybody's just telling you what you need, but no one ever explained to you why? Right? Anybody ever feel that way? They tell you what you need, but they never tell you why. They never give you an explanation. They never, ever. Right? And that's where most people are today. That's where most people are today where they keep getting told what they need what they need what they need and nobody ever explained to them why and then again we don't know the four questions to ask right we don't know the four questions to ask right so today i'm bringing you some clarity right i'm bringing some clarity and i'm going to show you why someone may tell you that, hey, you need a million dollars and how can you confirm that? How can you confirm if that's true, right? How can you confirm that? So you use the dime method, okay? The dime method is very, very simple. All the dime method is saying is that you're gonna calculate all your debt, okay? You're gonna calculate all your debt, whatever your income is, Right, and I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate the income portion, the balance on your mortgage, educational planning for your children, and that's what dime is, right? So as you can see, the diagram on the um, the example on the screen here, it shows you a way how to calculate. It give you an example. So this is an example of someone with some debt of fifty thousand dollars. So this is a combination of their credit cards, you know, loans and other debts that they may have. All right, so it, it, it all added up to $50,000. Then there's someone with an income replacement that's $360,000. So let's say that the person take home $3,000 a month. This is their net pay they're taking home, $3,000 a month, okay? $3,000 a month, then you're gonna times that by 12 for the month in the years. So that's 12 months in a year, right? 12 times uh, 3,000 is 36,000 a year. And then the income replacement for 10 years. So you could do an income replacement for five years. You could do an income replacement for three years, right? For, for seven years. But we, we always recommend 10 years, right? It depends on the, even if you have, to have children, right? Because let's say it takes about 10 years for that person to, to be able to move on right? It would take about 10 years for that person to be able to move on uh, from you passing. And it takes time. So you want to give that person time, but also make sure that income replacement is still there for them as well. 
as this is taken, uh, as this trans transpire, right? So this transition will take some time. So 10 years. So 10 times 36,000 is 360,000. That's how you get that number there. Now, as far as the mortgage um, section for the done, you always say that's $200,000 is the balance, okay? It's not what you're entire, it's the balance of your mortgage. So the balance of your mortgage, if it's three, 200,000, you're gonna put that there. And then for educational plan, as you can see, it's a 120,000. This assuming that each year tuition for college is $15,000. So a four year college for two kids, that gives you 120 because you know, four times 15,000 is 60,000. Two kids, two times 60,000 is $120,000. So that's when you add it all up, the 50,000 plus the 360,000 plus the 200,000 plus the 120,000. Now you have $730,000 in protection that is needed, right? This is the money that is needed now for the survival spouse or whoever the guardian is of your child, okay? So all of this adds up. It all adds up. And as you can see, as it adds up, right, you will know how much protection you need. So how does this all pay out? How does this all play out if, if the, if the um, you know, you, you, your surviving spouse was to receive this check? Well, this is what happened. With that $730,000 of life insurance protection, if the person dies too soon, right, the survival spouse will have enough money to pay off that $50,000 debt, right? Because you don't want that debt to become a burden to anybody else, right? Then you continue, then your survival spouse will also continue to have that $3,000 income per month for the next 10 years, right? And then also you could pay off, you know, the survival spouse or the guardian could pay off the remaining $200,000 balance, you know, off the mortgage, and then they'll be able to keep the house and they'll have $120,000 saved up for the kids um, um, college for when they're ready for school. That's why the dime method plays such a vital role and such an important role in one's understanding because if you don't understand, do you hear what I'm saying to you? If you don't understand why and how then how do you confirm that you're making the right decision? This is how you confirm if you have the right amount of insurance, if you are um, properly covered, because it's important. It is very, very important for you to know how much insurance you need. It is so important. So now the question is, the dime method is such a simple, simple, clear, fast, doable concept. But the problem is that now most people, when they do it, is either they're saying, man, I have too much insurance, but there's no such thing as too much insurance, okay? There's no such thing. But what, 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 what worries me is that when you do the dime method, you may realize is that you may not have enough because that's what most people realize that I don't have enough insurance. It's never that they never have too much. I, I've never got that one. I always get where they say, man, I have too little. Based on this dime method, I don't have enough protection in place for me and my family. Yeah, what do I do? Um, you get protected. You know, you do your, your, your PFS. You put together your personal financial strategy and see, do a financial review. This is why I tell people, stop buying things from agents, right? There's a lot of insurance agents out here that are just trying to sell you. No, I'm not knocking their hustle. Let me make that clear. I'm not knocking their hustle. You know, I just believe that people should be educated. I just believe that people should be informed. I, I think people should truly understand before they make decisions because most of the time, you know, I, I, I ask myself, I don't know how these people sleep at night. I really don't. I don't know how they sleep at night. They sleep so well. I don't know. Like these guys don't have a conscience. It's just about making money for them. Right? So I advise you guys to really, truly learn. Learn and understand. So that way you don't become a victim. Right? The key word is become a victim 
of your illiteracy, right? You will become a victim. How many of you ever become a victim before? How many of you have been a victim before of your illiteracy where you didn't understand? You didn't understand and because your lack of not knowing actually puts you in a bad situation. Anybody ever got misguided by their illiteracy in anything, right? In anything, not just finance, but in anything in general. Have your illiteracy have put you in a bad situation where you look around and you're like, man, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. You start calling yourself all kinds of names. And let me tell you something, man. Stop doing that too. You weren't stupid. You weren't dumb. You just didn't know. Right? You just didn't know. And as long as you're willing to admit that, hey, I didn't know, but I'm a learner. You know, they always said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that one, right? Because you got to make a decision in your life where you're going to be stop being fooled. All right? Stop being fooled. So it's time for you to take back. Take back, right? Take back your control. That's why we've always been telling families that it's time to control your future. It is time for you to control your future. It is possible. It is capable. It is able to do that. You can control your future, but you must learn the fundamentals of how to build a strong financial foundation. And it's important for you to learn concepts, not just products, because most people focus on concepts and they miss, they miss the importance. You hear what I'm telling you guys? They miss the importance of learning about concepts because they're too busy trying to learn about products. Products change, concepts remain the same. Always remember that, all right? Remember that, remember Keon Corniff tell you that. Products change, concepts remain the same. Once you know the concept, you could be in the game. You gotta be in the game, baby. Are you in the game? Are you in the game or are you, are, 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 are you on the bench? You know, come on now, scream at coach. Coach, put me in the game. Tell coach to put you in the game. Coach, put me in the game. I'm ready to be in the game, coach. Coach, I'm ready. Are you ready to be in the game? Right? Are you too busy just sitting on the bench? Which one are you going to be? It's either, it's either we are the players or we the one getting played. I challenge you guys, I challenge you. I challenge you to keep learning. I challenge you to question. I challenge you to be great. I challenge you to get rid of and break the curse of financial illiteracy. I challenge you. Can you do it? Who's gonna step up to my challenge? Who's going to look in their, in their life insurance today and say, let me run a dime method on myself. How much debt do I have? How much income replacement is needed? What is my balance on my mortgage? What is the educational plan for my children or my grandkids? Man, I need to look at my life insurance. Do I have enough? And then once you find out that you don't have enough, or what if you do have enough? I challenge you to be great. I challenge you. Because you know what some people say, well, Kian, I looked at it and I have enough. I have a term policy that gives me enough. Awesome. When does that term lapse up? When is the term over? Do you plan to die at the end of that term or before that term? Because, you know, I look at people and I say, when you have term insurance, nothing wrong with it. If that's what you can afford, you can afford that. But the question is, do you plan to die within that term? Like people take out, oh yeah, I have a 30 year term, Keon. Okay, great. You plan to die in 30 years? No. 
Okay, so is that the only thing you plan to put in place? <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you guys, right? What well, you know? Well, Ken, it's isn't it? Does can I renew it? Yeah, at a higher cost later on. Can you predict if you're insurable? If you if you're going to be insurable later? See, guys, these are questions you gotta you gotta ask. You, you can't just you can't just blindly trust these agents. I tell people all the time: don't trust me. Don't trust me. Trust the words I say and question them at the same time. Do your research. We can't be lazy like this anymore. We have to wake up, get up, and go do the work. It's time we become empowered, and it's time we become fired up to go seek knowledge. Knowledge is freedom. Knowledge is wealth. Wealth is knowledge. Don't ever be fooled. It's not money. Money is just a currency for how much knowledge you have acquired. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Money is only a currency based upon the amount of knowledge you have acquired. Do you hear me? All right. I hope you heard me the second time. Because we seek money. Where we should seek knowledge. Knowledge will bring you money, endless supply of it. Okay? Knowledge. I promise you, I promise you, knowledge gives you understanding. And that's why I tell you that products change, concepts remain the same. I hope you never forget that. Okay? It took me a very short time in my short little years on this planet to really realize that. And I realized that this rule of 72 have been around since the banking system discovered, you know, compound interest. And ever since compound interest was starting to use, I realized that rule of 72 have been around since. Albert Einstein came up with it. I was like, wow. Concepts never change. I realized that budgeting has never been a hard thing. If you learn the 50, 20, 30 budgeting formula. Wow. Concepts never change. I know money plus time plus or minus rate of return minus inflation minus tax that equals wealth. Wow. Concepts never change. But the products will. The instruments, the tools. There's a different tool for different <laughs> obstacles. But the concepts, the concepts never change. Never forget it. Okay. I, I, I notice I'm really trying to give you that much. If you take away that nothing, take that away today. Okay? Take that away today. So quick announcements. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to talk about the 50, 20, 30 budgeting formula and the 10, 20 formula. Tomorrow we're going to break that down some more. But more importantly, just remember that our workshops, guys, we have workshops every day of the week now, Monday through Sunday. All right, at 2 p.m. Eastern time and 10 p.m. Eastern time, we have workshops. How awesome is that? And in our workshops, we have them, like I said, Monday through um, Sunday at different time slots, 2 p.m. or, or, or um, 10 p.m. Eastern time. A lot of great stuff being taught in these workshops. You can go to our website to get access to our calendar and register. Now, 30 by 30 financial literacy campaign is due to the fact that financial education is not an option, it's actually a necessity. And that's why World System Builder is committed to educating and empowering 30 million families by the year 2030. So my question is, do you want to be one of them? Do your family, who in your family have not yet been educated? Right? How many of your family have not been informed about this information, but you come to Money Talk, come on, you got to spread the word, right? So if you don't, if they can't make it to Money Talk, hey, invite them to our financial literacy classes, right? And this is where they learn the four steps of financial freedom. Do you know the four steps of financial freedom yet, right? If you attend this class one time and you think you got it, you're wrong. <laughs> you're dead wrong. You didn't even get it yet. You didn't get it yet. You got to come back. You got to come to these classes multiple times, multiple times. Hear it multiple times. You'll catch it. It will start to make sense. 
every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. Eastern time, we are teaching you. And that's the login information. You can take a screenshot, right? Also, if you'd like to learn more about the opportunity to become an educator with us and campaign and empowering people, you want to learn about our campaign some more? You want to learn about why we educated and what is that we're doing? I, I, I encourage you to come every Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 12 p.m. Come and learn. Come and get some more information. All right, get some more insight. I want you guys to check out my brother Rory Douglas on YouTube and all social media. Check out his um, podcast called Highlight a Scholar, right? It's my big bro. Um, he's doing big things. Trust and believe me. Research this guy and you see who he is. That's my big bro. He actually have a book where he co-wrote, co-author with Tony Robinson and a lot of big guys out there. So, all right. So, check out my big bro, Tony, uh, Rory Douglas. Um, as you know, Monday through Friday, we have Money Talks. All right. So, tell a friend to tell a friend. Every Monday through Friday, we have Money Talks from 9 a.m. to uh, to about 9.30, right? And as you know, we are currently on Spotify. We are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, right? You can follow us on Instagram at um, B Shanners, all right? So definitely get in tune with us, tap in, you know, make sure that you're always getting the knowledge and the information at all given time. So always remember that you're one decision away from changing your future for the better. So always remember the choice is always yours.